We love Flirty Dumplings. We love Flirty Dumplings. Not only have we got wonderful Flirty Dumplings, we've got a model railway. We have got local produce um, from things like Sarah Gray's jams and marmalades to unorthodox coffee and teas to Alan's chili jams to all the beautiful bespoke furniture that's all been handmade. We have also got paintings from um, a variety of different local artists and we've got a lot of handmade um, soft toys and of course we've got the wonderful beautiful cosy stoves. Hello, my name is Alistair Cameron. I work for a company Specflu and we supply to Alistair Mad Stoves. The chimneys are very important to your fire. They make your fire grow. A lot of people don't actually realise that the chimney is very important. The chimney is basically, what's, once it gets to a certain temperature, that's when your stove starts to work properly. If you haven't got the right chimney, the right height, the surrounding buildings, trees, everything around about you, it'll not work properly. The fire needs the chimney to grow. This is our chimney system, it's Eco ICD, it's made by Shudel, we're one of the biggest distributors of Shudel products, also comes in stainless steel as well as black. The great thing about working with Alistair and supplying to Alistair is that his wife Michelle makes the best clutey dumplings. My name's James Littlejoy. Uh, I'm the person who installed most of the railway. Um, it was supplied by another person called Sandy, uh, who gave a lot of tips and helps with connecting it up and setting it up. But uh, most of it was my own work. The Clutie dumplings, which I've tasted at the door, the samples are lovely. Uh, there's even one for my grandson. It's got gluten-free with no milk in it, which you'll think you'll love. And if you do come in and have a look at the, the locomotive up on the shelf, there's one sitting on the back and a hurl backwards and forwards. This is Jimmy and he illustrated the Clutie McToots um, from Abernethy book. So Jimmy, what do you think of the Clutie McToots traditional dumpling? Oh, absolutely. Brilliant. So tasty. And have you enjoyed doing the, the project of the book? Is it something you've done before? Yes, oh yeah, I'm, I'm well used to uh, drawing all sorts of things, but that, that was a real pleasure doing Clutie McToot. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it was funny how it worked out as well, because my wife, my wife ordered a Clutie dumpling from you, mm -hmm. and then one thing led to another. I know, uh, yeah, that's it. It's funny how next, we met, isn't next, it? Next thing I was illustrating the book. We love Clutie dumplings. We love the reason um, I became interested in Clutie Dumplings is we've got a son, Jacob, um, who's got additional support needs and he wanted to be behind a market stall at the local school fete and unfortunately they, wouldn't be able, they weren't able to provide a stall for him. So I actually hired a stall for £5 and we decided to make Granny's Clutie Dumplings. Um, they're just off the cuff, we made six, we took them along and we sold out. So then the following year we decided to do the same and we made six and we sold it again. And while we were at that festival, um, a lady came up and said, why don't you do it as your own business? And Jacob said, let's do it as our own business. So in December, we then decided that we would set up a Clutie Dumpling um, market stall and go to the farmer's markets. And that is what we did. But we just didn't want to be stale and that's why we came up with the different flavours. So it's a Clutie Dumpling with a modern twist. We we love Clutie Dumplings! We love Clutie Dumplings! I love Clutie McTook Dumplings! I love Clutie McTook Dumplings! <laughs>